Down by one, here is Jokic on the slip, goes to him and Jokic throws it down on the pass from Jamal Murray. Denver back up on top, 11 seconds, no timeouts. Here's Damian Lillard, he just hit a three a moment ago. He steps back, fires again, puts it in. Damian Lillard going crazy in game seven. No timeouts, Murray with three, Murray with two. Jamal Murray to win the series. In and out, and the Nuggets fall as San Diego goes to the finals. Their first year in the franchise, the San Diego Admirals will win the championship in five games. Guys, some crazy news in the association. The Celtics all-star Jason Tatum has just requested a trade. And for the Utah Jazz, their all-star Donovan Mitchell has also requested a trade. And so guys, let me know down below where you think these two superstars have been traded. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like for part three. So you guys have made your decisions on where you think Tatum and Donovan Mitchell have been traded to, and it's time to find out where they're going. Jason Tatum has been traded to the Dallas Mavericks. He will be paired with Luka Doncic. I mean, how crazy is this new duo? And for Donovan Mitchell, Mitchell has been traded from the Utah Jazz to the Toronto Raptors. He will now be in the Eastern Conference. And for Michael Porter Jr., he has a new team. He has decided to leave the Denver Nuggets and join the Miami Heat. He will now be playing in the Eastern Conference as well. And for Jan Sadekou, well, he has a decision to make and he will be re-signing with the Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks fans, he's not going anywhere. Guys, unfortunately, Derrick Rose has retired from the NBA as well as Kyle Lowry, Mike Conley, an end of an era. Also, Sean Whiteside's gone too. Markeith Morris is done. But now we look at this new rule change in the NBA. How about this? There are no more conference standings. It's all one. So the 16 best teams in the NBA will be seated based off their record. No conference standings. And we head to the 2024 NBA draft. This is the draft class of Bronny James. So let's see where he will go. He's not in the top seven. As we see Holland go number one in the Sacramento Kings. The Pelicans get the second pick. Thunder get the third. I mean, the Thunder have so many picks. It's just unreal. Then we see the Timberwolves, the Pacers, the Knicks, OKC, Bull goes to the Nuggets. No Bronny James yet. Oh, there he is. He's 22, the Detroit Pistons. So will LeBron James leave and join Detroit? That would be interesting to see. But guys, you see the draft class. You see the players in their new teams. We head to the 2024-2025 NBA season. And as we went over the major changes, there are some small changes as well in these rosters. Bobby Porter Jr., he's now on the Philadelphia 76ers. And Tobias Harris is now on the Milwaukee Bucks. That's a pretty good trade right there that they had the Chicago Bulls on Jabal. Remember, they lost Zach Levine in the first part. And honestly, Zach Levine made a right decision going to Detroit because that team is playing so well. Also, this Cavaliers team, they made it to the finals last year they did lose you guys saw that the boston Celtics. we lost jason tatum we do have jalen brunch now but losing jason tatum sucks then we saw the clippers they end up getting julius Randle on emmanuel quickly Kawhi still in la john Morant's up to a 98 overall i mean he is the best player that's progressed in this three-part series maybe besides luka Doncic, but john Morant and luka Doncic are just the two best players right now in the nba then we got the hornets lamella ball taro's here about the same team which is crazy the utah jazz van vliet now and the rookie whitehead who was the first pick last year actually not a rookie but second year we saw him choking the playoffs in the part two simulation sacramento then the new york Knicks. we saw paul george go to new york in part two he's trying to get that team to go to the championship the lakers they still have bradley bill and their new big three i'm not sure how much it's really working out the orlando magic they're a young team but look how good they're getting and then of course we have this major trade jason tatum and luka Doncic now paired up i mean this is going to be unstoppable a new super team in the nba and it's in dallas and brooklyn how about durant he's still a 96 overall like that dude just doesn't age he doesn't get back we saw the Nuggets who's on Michael Porter Jr. And I guess Chris Middleton is now on the Indiana Pacers. I didn't expect that, but he's now in Indiana with Miles Turner, Malcolm Brogdon, the Pelicans. Zion Williamson, a 98 overall. So the best overalls in this 2025 season. You have John Moran at 98, Jason Thames at 97, Lucas at 98 or 97. Then we got Durant at 96 and Zion at a 98. So those are the guys who are running the NBA. We saw DeAndre Ayton get traded to the Spurs or sign with the Spurs. The Phoenix Suns, they have not been playing well in this three-part series. I'm not going to lie. The OKC Thunder have been rebuilding very nicely, though. They got those draft picks. And for Minnesota, Anthony Edwards has progressed, and they're the defending champions. The newest NBA team, San Diego Admirals. If you watch part two, the new NBA team was that team in San Diego, and they won the championship in their first year. So Damian Lillard got a ring. The Wizards stayed the same. Klay Thompson has progressed very low on the Warriors. But guys, it is time to simulate to the end of the season to see which teams will make the playoffs. And we will stop at All-Star break. And how about Tyrese Maxey? He is now an NBA All-Star, as well as John Collins 
Collins, Evan Mobley, Cade Cunningham, LaMelo Ball, Zion Williamson, Tatum, Luka Doncic, John Morant. And Luka Doncic wins another MVP. I mean, are you serious? In all three of these parts, he has won an MVP. 31 points for him. DJ Wagner, rookie of the year, was 16 and a half for the Pelicans. A good rookie season. And this name is crazy. Benedict Matherin. I think that's how you say it, but he won the sixth man of the year. What a name, what a player. And Giannis Antetokounmpo wins defensive player of the year, 27-12. He is still playing at an all-time level. And Joshua Primo out of Alabama playing for the Spurs wins most improved player. And now we go to the league leaders in points. Luka Doncic, 31. We see Zion Williamson, Trey Young, and Jason Tatum. So the top four leading scorers are on the same team. I mean, that's a real super team right there you got going on at Dallas. We see John Morant, LaMelo Ball, and Jalen Brown by himself makes number nine. And how about Vucevic leading the league in rebounds in year two? 2025 we got on a Cooper at second we can see Allen Zion Williamson Evan Mobley assists per game Luca at two Darius Garland Ben Simmons DeJounte Murray Killian Hayes and now we go with steals per game Jimmy Butler leads it off with two and a half and as we go to the NBA stinks we saw at the beginning of the video it doesn't matter about the conference the top 16 best teams will make the playoffs and so we see San Antonio Detroit Houston Charlotte Cleveland Dallas Philadelphia Atlanta Miami Memphis makes it Toronto makes it Brooklyn makes it the New Orleans Pelicans make it the Warriors make it OKC makes it and the last team to slipping on the New York Knicks as Orlando Magic just missed out by one game. Then we see the Pacers, the Timberwolves not make it. And oh my goodness, the Admirals who just won last season are not in the NBA playoffs as well as the Bucks, the Celtics, and oh my goodness, the Lakers won 12 and 70. This has to be one of the worst standing records we've ever seen and the Suns don't make it as well, but we enter the NBA postseason for 2025. You guys see the 16 teams. It's one through 16 seeded. No playing tournament. I mean, this is going to be so much fun. So guys, it's your last chance to come on your predictions down below this is an nba 2k22 live simulation the road to the championship begins in the first round so go sit down with last and let's see who's gonna win it The finals runners up last year will go down in the first round. The Brooklyn Nets will take down the Cavaliers in five games, 130 to 110. And this is how we're beginning off the first round. Down goes Cleveland as Brooklyn will be moving on. And we now enter Atlanta. Miami up by one. Here's Bogdanovich for the lead. It won't go. Rebound Bam Adebayo. And the Miami Heat are down the series three games to one. Can they win this game of force game six? Here comes Miami. It's the newest player, Michael Porter Jr. On side will go at him. He has him isolated at the foul line. Now in the paint. Back Back him down, fade away. It's no good. Rebound. Atlanta calls timeout. Can they win this series at home? Under 20 seconds. Each team at a timeout. Atlanta down by one. They're looking to take the lead. Here comes a screen from John Collins. Here's Trey Young. Foul line goes to Capella. Now back to John Collins. 101 with seven seconds. Young, a deep three. Bang! Trey Young from downtown. One shot. And the Hawks go up by two with five seconds. Now here comes Miami with their season on the line. Hero from downtown. It's no good and the Heat will go down the first round how about this and the Atlanta Hawks will move on winning the series in five games and now we will move to Charlotte where the Pelicans will follow the Hornets in five games as well so how many five game series we got going on no sweeps early on in this playoff simulation but the Hornets will take down the New Orleans Pelicans in five games and now we got a game six in Oklahoma City it is the two seed versus the 15 seed Detroit looking to close out the series and avoid the upset but here comes Shea Alexander what a pass Monchero oh he missed the dunk he missed it Oh, that might be costly. Now, here come the Pistons. A chance to take the lead. Sadiq Bay with the left. Oh, my goodness. A top play of the year. Sadiq Bay with his offhand. He puts in the jumper. And the Pistons are 20 seconds away from winning this series. Can the OKC Thunder 4 7? The fans are on the feed. Alexander with nothing. Now it goes back out. Gets it inside again. Goes up with a shot. And it's off the rim. No good. They will foul Zach Levine. And he will go to the line looking to end this series. Series and the OKC Thunder. Oh my goodness, that missed dunk might come back to haunt them. That could be the season right there. Zach Levine got them both. It's a four point game, eight seconds. OKC needs a quick three. Here's Alexander with five. Gives it to Lou Dort and he puts it in. We're not over yet. And so after the timeout, they foul Killian Ace. He makes the first free throw. The second one, it's good as well. OKC still has a chance. Down by three with three seconds. Inbound to Alexander from the half court line. Off the mark and the Pistons will hold on and be the 15th seed OKC Thunder in six. And now we will enter New York. The Spurs will take down the New York Knicks in six games. And this 16th seed New York team forced this number one seed San Antonio in six games. But ultimately they will fall 
in six games. As we now get to Memphis, where it's overtime basketball, 45 seconds, tied up at 136. Memphis looking to close out this series and win it right now. Here's John Moran, it's no good. And here come the 76ers. Can they force a game seven? They're down three to two in the series. Look at Harden to a bead. Oh, are you serious? How about this first order action? First to Deke Mir with the left hand, then a B with the 360 alley -oop. And now here come the Grizzlies down by two, 47 seconds in overtime. The screen from Clark. John Murray going up, and he throws it down on a bead. Back to back haymakers on both these teams. And we're not a backup at 138. Shot clock is turned off, and the Sixers have a chance to win game six on the road to 4 7. These fans are on their feet. The Grizzlies are looking to make another playoff run. Remember, part number one they got all the way to the finals but lost in game seven it was a heartbreaker can they get back to that point but right now they need to win this game and they need to stop here four seconds here's maxi and bean two and bean step back for the win it's off the mark we're headed to double overtime grizzly get the stop and this game is looking to be a good one and as we get to double ot we're at the line for two free throws so grizzly's up two these could be the dagger ones and he got the first one to make a three-point game. And this is the biggest one of the night for Morant. He got them both. It's a four-point game. It looks to be over. Bobby Porter's inbounds to Maxi. It doesn't matter. And the Grizzlies will move past the 76ers in this series. And now we get to Houston. Down go the Warriors in seven games. I mean, they force a good series. But ultimately, this young Houston Rockets team gets the job done here in seven to move on in the last series of the first round. How about this matchup? Donovan Mitchell against Jason Tatum and Luka Doncic. And Donovan Mitchell connects. Raptors lead by one in game seven. Oh my goodness, imagine if this powerhouse Dallas team goes out in the first round. This would be a failed super team as Doncic finds Tatum. And Tatum with the left as Dallas takes the lead. Here we go. We're coming down the wire. 35 seconds. Winner go home. It's game seven to move the second round. And Donovan Mitchell has it one more time with 30 seconds. He goes to Scotty Barnes and he puts in the jumper. Toronto back on top. They won't go away. Timeout Dallas, 28 seconds. And here comes. Luka Doncic, will it be Luka or Tatum? Luka step back in the paint, what a pass. Chris with the left, it goes in. Dallas on top, and we're going back and forth. Here comes Donovan Mitchell, and this Toronto team won't miss. Can the Mavericks finally get a stop around the screen? Mitchell step back for the lead. No good off the rim, rebound Luka, goes to Smith, and now going to the line to make this a three-point game. I mean, it's not over yet, but that was a big miss from Donovan Mitchell as the first free throw's good. And these Mavericks fans are on their feet. They don't want to see them get upset here in this first round after getting Jason Tatum in the offseason. It's a three-point game. Here comes Mitchell with six, five. Mitchell gives it up. All the way downtown, the three. It's off the mark, rebound, and that should most likely do it. Only .3 seconds remain in this game. And what an effort from Toronto, but ultimately Dallas will hold on in game seven. 146 to 141, they get the job done, and they will move on. Now we enter the second round, eight teams remaining. This is going to be an interesting round here. We see so many different matchups. And guys, I hope you're enjoying the simulation right now. That first round was crazy. But it's now time to see which teams will make it to the final four in today's simulation. So let's go. We enter the conference semifinals and down go the Atlanta Hawks, the number one seed in the whole entire tournament right now where the playoffs is the Spurs and they'll get the job done in five games. Still no sweeps in this playoffs. How about that as the Spurs win 129 to 107 and now we enter Memphis and it's the Detroit Pistons over the Grizzlies. This might be an upset even though the Pistons are the two seed but still in six games down goes Memphis as Detroit moves on and now we will get to Houston. Another game seven for the Mavericks. They're tied as Luka Doncic gives the Mavericks a two point lead and these teams are going out down Dallas here in this playoff as the Houston Rockets find themselves down by two in this winner go home game seven at home. Here's Jalen Green, top of the key. Now he gives it to KBJ on Luka Doncic. Here comes the screen from Wood. He gets around it and the shot clock is at 10 seconds. Kevin Porter Jr. with nothing to Wood to Ivy around the screen. Ivy goes up with the right and he scores. What a move. Marquise Chris, not great defense right there, but it's still a tie game. 22 seconds. Houston still has a timeout and then Maris can hold this all the way down as it's Chris the pain to Luca. Luca takes it back out. Here comes the double team. Yes, they give it up. Swinging around town. Now to Jason Tatum. Back to Luca Doncic. Here comes the double one more time. Seven on the shot clock. They force that out of Luca's hands and what a shot. Oh my goodness, that was not the shot right there. And now a timeout from the Rockets and a chance to win this series. I mean, are you serious? Can they send this super team home? Here's Ivy. Three at the buzzer. It's off the mark and we are done yet in Houston. This game seven is head to OT. 
and as we get to overtime, 19 seconds, it's still a tie game. Nobody has taken the lead yet, but the Rockets have a chance again to win it. We saw them miss at the end of regulation. Can they get vengeance? Dallas looking for another stop. Here comes the first round pick last year. Oh, blocked, gets it back, and he scores. Are you serious? 3.5 seconds, inbound to Doncic. Doncic at the buzzer. And the Mavericks beat the super team of Dallas in seven games. Are you serious? And guys, I apologize once again. I simulated too fast. And look at this. The Brooklyn Nets will go down to the Charlotte Hornets in the second round. So down goes the Brooklyn Nets, who actually won the first part. Kyrie Irving with 28. Simmons with 16. Durant only at 15. As the Mellow Ball at 20 points in the win. And on go the Hornets. And now we get to the second round. Down goes Dallas. Down goes Brooklyn. Down goes Memphis. Four new teams here in this NBA Final Four. Who's going to move on the championship? It all comes down to this. Guys, go sit down. Go sit by last. And let's go. Here we go. It's game six in Charlotte. The Spurs are up 3-2. Can they win on the road to win the series? Ajante Murray hits the jumper and gives San Antonio a two-point lead with 25 seconds. And the Hornets, their season on the line. They need to win this game right now. And then they need to win game seven to go to the finals. And they find themselves down by two late here in game six. It's Lamelo Ball defended by Dejounte Murray. Dejounte Murray with a big basket on the other end. As here's Lamelo. Look at Murray all over him. Great defense. Lamelo gets the pain. Now it gives it back out. It's Washington. Shot clock down to four seconds. Now it goes to Book Knight. Open three. Oh, that would have been big. And he missed it. And they have to foul 1.6. Griffin Jr. makes the first free throw. And the second, only 1.6. But this game is over. The number one seed in the whole entire playoff, San Antonio Spurs, is headed to the NBA Finals for the first time since 2014. They get the job done and they will move on. And now we'll go to a game number six in Houston. It is the Pistons who will go down to the Rockets. So after beating Dallas, they got some momentum. Them. Now the Houston Rockets are back in the NBA Finals as they'll beat the Pistons in six games. And here we go. Part through the finale comes down to the San Antonio Spurs against the Houston Rockets. A best of seven series to determine the winner of today's simulation. Let me know how your predictions were down below. But now, guys, it's time to get to the finals. And we'll enter a game number six in Houston where the Rockets are down by one. But they're up in the series three games to two. Can they win the finals in front of their home fans? Jalen Green, oh my goodness, on the rack attack. Gives the Houston Rockets a one point lead with a thorn. And the Spurs, the number one seed, trying to force a game seven back in San Antonio as they're down by one. And here's the most improved player of the year, Joshua Primo. Can he give them something right now? Or is it DeJounte Murray or Aiden? Here's Aiden with the screen. Here's Primo now in the paint. Primo goes up with the left and scores. What a beautiful move. And the Spurs are back on top. Timeout Rockets, 23 seconds. Here we go, fans on their feet. Can they win game six and the finals with a buzzer beater or a game winner? Jalen Green just had the dunk a moment ago. Now it gets switched out. Jalen Green in the paint. Green goes up. Oh, blocked by Aiden. He might have got a piece. And the Spurs will get it. And they can feel this win right now. They want to force game seven. As here's Ajante Murray at the line. He's been so good already in this playoff simulation. He makes the first one. Eight seconds remaining. Rockets at a timeout. Ajante Murray. Missed the second. Rebound Ivy. Here comes Houston. No timeouts. Four seconds. Three. Jalen Green on the drive. Goes up. And the foul. Are you serious? Unbelievable. This could be the championship right here. This free throw. It all comes down to this. Jalen Green to give the Rockets the NBA Finals. Here we go. He got it, and the Rockets go up on top with two seconds. Here come the Spurs at the buzzer, and Houston wins the finals. Unbelievable finish. I thought we were going to go to game seven, and Jalen Green, are you serious? What a finish, and the Rockets win in part three, the finale on an A1 as the free throw goes in, and the celebration ensues in Houston. Unbelievable. It's been an amazing three-part series. I mean, hey, listen, if you guys really like it, we might extend this to part four. It's been so much fun. The Rockets win in part three. I still can't believe how that finished. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all your support. You guys are the GOATs, and it's Halftime Productions, and we out.